Good morning again, all. Um, my name is Michelle Mason, um, serving as the Employment Network Coordinator for our Employment Network. During this segment of the webinar, we will review WorkSource Georgia Employment Network services from a practical level. You will also be provided information for beneficiaries to access services, as well as information for community partners to make referrals for services. Throughout the presentation, I will use the acronym EN when referring to our employment network. As indicated in the Ticket to Work and EN overview, the EN is a free employment service for the Ticket to Work program responsible for providing benefits counseling, career counseling, and placement services. To go further, the Office of Workforce Development is an authorized employment network for Social Security's Administration's Ticket to Work program. This partnership allows our local workforce development areas to provide unique services to individuals with disabilities seeking employment. Currently, WorkSource Georgia's EN provides statewide virtual services through agreements with three of our local workforce area partners. Those partners are Atlanta Regional Commission, Northeast Georgia Regional Commission, and East Central Georgia Regional Commission. By partnering with the local workforce areas, we have the ability to provide beneficiaries with a direct connection to one-stop services, such as training, education, pre-employment, and post-employment services. As an example, a participant who received SSDI is enrolled in the Employment Pro and Network Program, may be duly enrolled in the one-stop for Title I services. They may be completing LPN training. This combination of enrollment gives them the advantage of receiving benefits counseling and employment support from the EN point of contact, in addition to employment and training services provided by the local workforce area staff. There is also constant communication and coordination between the EN point of contact and the local area staff throughout the process of services. Think of it as an added layer of support. I will note participation in the EN program services is not dependent upon enrollment in the Title I services offered by the local areas. It is an option available in the case beneficiaries are interested. They must also meet the eligibility requirements for Title I services separately. To date, beneficiaries enter WorkSource Georgia's EN services from three directions. A majority of beneficiaries use the Ticket to Work portal provided by Social Security Administration to contact us directly for services. Others have been referred by our local workforce areas and community partners. Now, to the beneficiaries attending the session, I will turn my attention to you. The Ticket to Work program can feel like you are navigating an endless maze of Social Security jargon and red tape. However, there are a number of incentives available to protect your cash benefits and medical coverage while you are transitioning back to work. With the assistance of the EN, there are basically five general steps in the Ticket to Work process. Once you contact WorkSource Georgia's EN for services and complete the suitability screening with a local point of contact, the process begins. First, we develop a plan with you to help you return to work. This plan is called an individual work plan and referred to as an IWP. Once you have reviewed and signed your plan, we assign your ticket to Workforce Georgia's EN and pause your medical review with SSA. We also take the time to educate you in understanding your rights and protections under SSA. Third, job search. Job search can be challenging, especially when you have been out of work for a while or changing careers. So at this step, we support you to explore your employment options. You are now with the fourth step. At this point, the EN point of contact has established a relationship with you and checks in with you at a regularly scheduled time to help you stay on track and avoid problems with Social Security Administration. And once you have achieved employment, we check in to see if you are doing well transitioning. For example, does the schedule work for you? Are you getting along with your supervisors and coworkers? Because we know it is one thing to get a job. The challenge is keeping the job. The fifth step is more so maintenance. You focus on work and enjoy benefits protection while we monitor your benefits. Now keep in mind, things begin to change 
regarding your cash benefits once the trial work period ends. If you notice, we are in place to assist you with the heavy lifting of services. While your main priority is to focus on obtaining and retaining employment, our EM points of contact are here to ensure you experience the key benefits of the EM program. We provide guidance and support at every step. We assist you to understand your rights and protections under SSA. We manage all SSA paperwork with your written authorization to do so. We provide job readiness and placement support. We provide clear communication with SSA on your behalf regarding your benefits, again, with your written authorization to do so. We also provide ongoing support reporting your wages to SSA because we want to prevent you from having any issues with overpayments. So, if you are interested in WorkSource Georgia's EN services, please use the contact information provided on the participant information sheet shown to you on this screen to reach out to one of our local points of contact by phone or email. I will now turn my attention to the community partners in attendance. Partnership is key to our participant success. The main goal is connecting individuals with disabilities to gainful employment and to empower them to become self-sufficient. The EN's collaboration with local workforce area partners is intended to complement their existing employment services. However, collaborating with community partners such as yourselves allows our EN to grow legs in the community to reach hidden job seekers. Everyone's not walking into the local areas for that level of services and we understand that. We understand you are the boots on the ground within the community with the finger on the pulse of the needs of the people you serve. And we thank you in advance for your partnership. I can imagine at this point you're asking, what are the next steps in the process after this session? How do I refer participants? What do I do now? And I am glad you asked. The referral process is shared on the screen and will be uploaded to the online library after this session. I'll take a moment to briefly review the steps with you for making a referral to the Employment Network. There are three basic questions used in the pre-screening process once your participant has disclosed their disability status. You may find these questions are already embedded in your program's intake list of questions. And they are, one, does the participant receive SSI or SSDI cash benefits? Two, is the participant seeking to return to work full-time or at the substantial wage set by SSA? And the third question, is the participant open to moving out of cash benefits? If the answer is yes to all of the above, then share the participant information sheet with your participant and make the referral to the local workforce area point of contact. An email to the point of contact informing them of your referral is typically the process. Please keep a record on your end of the individuals you are referring, and we will secure a log as well on our end. This will assist in follow-up and progress reports in the future. And the last part in the referral process is the participants acting on their own. They contact one of the local area point of contact expressing their interest in EN services, and we will take it from there with suitability screening and possibly intake according to the process we just reviewed. Feedback regarding progress after referral is available as needed and agreed. This concludes my presentation on WorkSource Georgia's EN, and it is my hope the information was clear and gave you a good picture of what it looks like for citizens you serve and feel safe in referring them to our EN for services. And once again, I thank you for attending my direct contact information is listed here as well as on the collateral materials provided.